What up guys, Miguel here of Unigatech, back at it again with our updated list of top 10 best-selling phones of all time. At our number 10 spot, we have the Nokia 6600, and you may be wondering, how did this chonker of a phone grow to sell 150 million units in its lifetime, despite costing about $700? Well, let me tell you this, you Gen Z. Back in the early 2000s, nobody called smartphones smartphones. Though the term was already coined by folks from Sony Ericsson, anybody just called them cell phones, with Nokia and BlackBerry leading the pack. Devices like the Nokia 6600 offered features that weren't seen on most phones back in the day, like a music player, a video player, a camera, an internet connection, Bluetooth, and expandable storage via memory card. So you could say that the Nokia 6600 is definitely one of the most influential phones paving the way for all the iPhones, Galaxy devices, and many other smartphones today. At number nine, we have the iPhone XS series. This includes the XR and XS Max with a combined total unit sold of 151.1 million. The original iPhone X didn't do too bad itself as it sold 63 units all on its own. But why did the 10R, 10S, and 10S Max reach the top 10 sold? Well, that may be due to the fact that they collectively offered a choice for a wider range of customers. Want the biggest phone available? 10S Max. Want the premium flagship iPhone that isn't too big to hold? Get the 10S. On a tight budget but still need a solid iPhone, the 10R. It's no wonder why even to this day, they remain a solid pickup since it was also at this time that iPhone users began to switch over and accept the infamous notch. With people nowadays even claiming the iPhone 10R is a much better budget iPhone compared to the latest base model iPhone being sold. But those phones would soon be outdone by their successors in the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max with them selling over 159 million units in total. Well, it's clear to see why a lot of people love the iPhone 11 lineup since at the time, people wanted the latest and greatest, and with the iPhone 11 series, Apple had upgraded the camera setup, which not only changed the design so you could show people you had the new iPhone 11, but also introduced the ultra-wide camera, which, if you got an iPhone today, you know how fun and useful it is to have a nifty sensor for taking wider shots for groups, architecture, architecture, and landscapes. This was also when Apple decided to get rid of the R lineup and simply make the iPhone 11 its base model, and the more premium version, the Pro and Pro Max offerings, which is the name scheme we see Apple following till this day. But not to be outdone at our number 7 spot was the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus series, also ironically coming in 7th place with roughly 160 million units sold. Personally, we're quite stumped to see it make the top 10 since this was when Apple infamously took out the headphone jack and people were saying you'd be better off getting an iPhone 6. But nonetheless, the iPhone 7 saw notable improvements such as a better dust and water resistance rating, touch ID with haptic feedback, a newer chipset, a bigger base storage configuration, a bigger battery, newer colors, and an improved camera. Next, we got the one and only, the daddy of all phones in the modern era, the Nokia 3210, which since 1999 has sold about 161 million units. Back then, it was popular due to the fact that it was the first widely affordable phone with an internal antenna, and not to mention it had the best game ever. Snake. But nowadays, it's popular for being an absolute tank of a phone, with people sharing how its battery would last weeks and how durable it was that if it were pitted against a solid brick, the brick, would lose. Breaking the top 5 in this list is ironically the iPhone 5S with roughly 164.5 million units sold. The original iPhone 5 didn't do too bad either with around 146 million sold. But why was the iPhone 5S more popular? Well, our guess is that it introduced notable upgrades over the iPhone 5, but most importantly, it was the first iPhone to feature Touch ID. It also featured an updated Apple A7 chipset over the previous A6, a new gold colorway, and a slightly improved camera with True Tone Dual LED Flat. Just missing the top three is the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. With just a little over 174 million units sold, its popularity was due to the fact that for many years to come, it had remained a solid device since its launch in 2015. In fact, it was only named a vintage iPhone by Apple last year. Especially over the years, with iPhones getting more and more expensive, 
the iPhone 6S remained a solid choice that stood the test of time in durability and even unofficially became the budget iPhone to get if you were on a tight budget. And no wonder its design was still very much usable for most people with even the latest iPhone SE today still carrying its design cues. Not to mention, it was the first iPhone that featured live photos and 3D touch. Making its way to the top three is the Nokia 105, which sold over 200 million units. But what's interesting is that you think that must have been sold a long time ago in the mid to late 2000s. But actually, the Nokia 105 originally launched in 2013 and in 2015 being the most popular models. Which, if you think about it, isn't too long ago. And in fact, there continues to be newer models of the Nokia 105 with a 4G model launched in 2021. Costing just around $20 or just below 1,000 pesos at the time, no wonder it was a popular choice for those looking for an inexpensive phone to simply make calls or even use for business. I'm sure my fellow Filipinos have noticed this phone sa mga nagpapaload at waiting sa food court. In second place, we got Apple's iPhone 6 series of smartphones, which have been touted as the most popular iPhone ever. This includes the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, which are estimated to have sold over 222 million phones over its lifetime combined. That actually makes it the best-selling smartphone ever as of 2023, which makes sense since even today, we still see people using it, as it has pretty much stood the test of time, and I'm sure Chris Evans would attest to that. It was so popular that it sold 71.5 million units within just three months of its release, which was pretty crazy with the whole Ben Gate and all. Finally, the number one selling phone over the past two decades, and still the champ, is the Nokia 1100, with over 250 million units sold. Back in the early 2000s, it's easy to see why this was such a popular cell phone since it was such a great value for the money. It had features such as a flashlight, a dustproof case, 400 hours of standby time, and most notably, it had that super addicting game, Snake. Likewise, its sibling, the Nokia 1110, which was released two years after and also saw familiar success in units sold, it did have some upgrades such as a four-way scroll key, speakers, animated screensavers, and most importantly, a 200 SMS capacity, up from 50 on the original 1100. T9 for the win! So there you have it. All these phones have been super popular throughout the years and we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you're wondering, where is Samsung in the list? Well, their most popular Galaxy device was the Galaxy S4, selling about 70 million units and also the Galaxy S3 and S3 mini selling the same combined. So, did you learn something new today? If so, let us know in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell icon so you get notified of future uploads. Be sure to visit yugatech.com for all the best tech news and reviews. This has been Miguel, and I will see you in the next one.